everyone, my name is Biddy and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. This is part two to my train station video and we'll be kind of focusing on decorating and stuff. Um, as you can see, I actually picked up a new QR code, this beautiful chain link fence that we're going to be using. Which again, if you want any of the QR codes I'm using, they're in the description in my QR code uh, video. All the, all the codes are in that description if you're interested in them. Um, but here's what we have so far. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I won't have this entire back area covered right now just because I have to buy like 26 panels. Um, but whenever I update my dream address and everything, I promise this back wall will be covered. <laughs> um, but anyways, so what we have so far is this. And um, I do need to get another uh, cardboard box for the back part there, but don't mind that. For now though, I do have a couple items I want to use and I do want to get some flowers and stuff. So my plan is I want to do some hedging and everything all along the side here. Because I just, you know, I thought it would look nice. And of course, some bushes. We finally sold me um, olive leaves. Or the yellow and orange olive. What are they called again? These! Chi olive starters. <laughs> I finally got those. Those were the, um... Those were the bushes I was hoping to get. And, um, I finally got them. And, um... I also extended the train station all the way down to here, which um, I'll post my reference images, um, who I got inspired by for this build, down below, um, because I was kind of struggling a little bit with figuring out how exactly I wanted this train area to look, so I found a couple different builds to get inspired by, and of course, I'll make sure they have credit where credit is due. And, uh, yeah. So right now, we are just working on getting all the bushes and stuff in place. And I do need to take some bushes up top here as well. Um, because my poor villagers, uh, they unfortunately are going to be dealing with a train. You know, going by every now and then, but I'm sure they'll be okay. Not the end of the world. Come down here real quick. Again, just put some of this down. So I think I'm just going to put the bushes behind the light post for the sake of symmetry. Holly here. I like changing up the order of the bushes. I could have put yellow there, but I think it'd be nice to go with the holly instead. And then at this light post, I will go with yellow instead. So did orange at the beginning. There we go. Beautiful. Quick, let's just see. Okay, this one needs to be a holly, and then this one will also be yellow as well. Okay, so I'm out of hedges for now. That's totally okay. Let's see. I need to make some more barbed wire, and I, again. Keeping with the bushes and things just to kind of fill out the area. Put a holly here. And then I'm also going to put a yellow starter as well. Do the same thing on the other side. Stone fencing I was looking for. I was like, where is it? I swear I had it. And then um, again. Okay, and then we'll do 
yellow here, and then I'm gonna bring in some flowers and stuff throughout this area, but I kind of just wanted to generally fill this in, because, you know, it's kind of like a cave <laughs> of sorts that the train comes out of. I think it looks so cute, though. I'm I'm really happy with how this area is coming out. And, um, oh, 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 right, right, right. I made some leaves and such to put down. And I also got some street lamps to help light up the area. Just cause, you know, you need to be able to see when you're walking and stuff. That looks good. I'm really, really happy with how this area came out so far, though. Um, I might put a couple more simple panels. I thought about, like, maybe, like, a back along here. I think that might be a little too much. I'm not really sure, though. Or even, like, putting the brick ones along here. But, again, I feel like that might be a little too much, so I might leave it how it is. Just because I don't want to overcrowd the area too, too much. Okay, I believe these are orange. Yeah, those are orange. So I think every three, I'm going to do a bush. Hopefully, it will look okay. We'll see if I can do every three. If not, I'll just come back and dig them up and redo it. Okay, it looks like we can't do every three. That's fine. That's totally fine. It might be good to just follow my lamp post I think I think that might be the move here just follow the lamp post for the sake of symmetry and it will make my life a little bit easier <laughs> um, when it comes to putting stuff down. So this one's gonna be a hobby. with how this, um, this is coming out. I was really nervous when I was building this because I was just like, I... This is a little... It's a little complicated for me. Um, because I don't really do... Really... Well, what I feel is an intricate build. So, I'm really, I'm really proud of how this came out. I know it could look a lot better, but with my limited amount of items I have and such. I think I did an okay job. <laughs> Don't think I have any more yellow olive starters. That's okay. If I don't, I might have some in my house. We'll see though. Don't mind my half a dozen apple trees growing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of need to just put them somewhere for now, and that is their new home. And until I figure out how exactly I want to do my orchard, which I do know I want it to be there, 
So I think they might be good where they are, but I also want to do some dirt underneath. So what we will, we will see. <laughs> um, just gonna grab some more street lamps. I need to order some more. I'm already running pretty low, which is which is fine. I kind of expected to use like a lot of lights um, with this build, <laughs> so needing to get more is not not too shocking to say the least. street light or two I'm on this side of my island but I think I'm gonna wait to do that until I figure out how um how I want certain things to be which I do know I need to start up my island designer to add a couple things to the sidewalk here because it's looking a little a little flat Much better looking, I think. Also, I think I am gonna move some of these shrubs. I don't know if I like the double shrub here. I think it looks a little off. There you go. Okay. Now I need to get some flowers. But before I can do that, drop off some items. <laughs> I have so many. Oh gosh. Alright. Uh...
grab a couple QR codes as well, just to help break it up. Okay, let's go get some more flowers. Probably swap out some of these flowers later, but they're kind of like temporary, you know, kind of, kind of vibes. These will do fine. Okay, a couple more mushrooms. Oh, I think that looks good. They may not be like the most ideal flowers right now because I haven't made my flower farm yet. Um, but I think for some temporary flowers, they don't look too bad. I think they look good. Okay, then we need to make some more barb fencing, but I think all things considered, this looks really good. I'm really happy of how this is coming out. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just admiring. I'm really happy how this train station came out, and um, I hope you'll enjoy it too. I will make sure to show off like you know some updates of it in a future like you know island tour and such but um thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe and if you really like the train station please let me know what you think of it in the comments down below i am i'm really happy with it and um i'd love to know what y'all think please don't mind the apple box it's only temporary i'm gonna change that out <laughs> But um, thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, y'all.